Hey everybody, welcome to Kara's Cucina, YouTube's first and only Emmy-nominated cooking show. I'm Kara DeFalco. Today, I am going to show you how to make a summer Italian classic. We are going to make the DeFalco version of a caprese salad. Classic caprese salad is just tomato, fresh mozzarella, and a little bit of basil. And in very typical Italian style, they do it because it's actually the colors of their flag, right? Green, white, and red. And it's normally all sliced up and laid out on a plate, a little salt and olive oil. Very, very basic. And, and again, if you guys have been watching the show for a while, anytime we do a really simple dish with just a few ingredients, you wanna make sure those ingredients are some of the best you can get. So we got some Jersey fresh produce here, basil from my garden. If you guys wanna check out how great my garden is doing, you can uh, watch my Instagram stories. I'll show you a little bit about that and uh, some fresh mozzarella that's also actually made right here in New Jersey. So the difference when I say the DeFalco version is, is um, we do a couple things a little differently and, and only because this is really the way my father happens to like it so it's just what we do. So it's tomato, cucumber, basil and fresh mozzarella and we're actually going to just chop everything up so I'm going to clear my board a little bit here and we'll start with the cucumber and we just cut everything into bite-sized pieces. So the two ends off the cucumber, I'll cut this in half so now I can stand it up nice and safe. Half, half again, and then we can just go right down into little triangles. Get these in our bowl. And we'll cut the rest of the cucumber pretty much the same way. Tomatoes, very similar. We're just gonna cut them up into bite-sized pieces. For that little piece where the stem was attached, I just kind of make a small V and you can get that piece right out of there. And then you've got a flat surface to keep up your tomato on. Now you notice I haven't really given amounts for this and it's really because you have to do it by eye. Cucumbers come in all different sizes, so do tomatoes, really so does fresh mozzarella, so that was a pretty small cucumber. We probably won't need too much tomato to go along with it. But you wanna kind of just see about the same amount of each color in your bowl is really what you're going for. So we'll cut up these two and get them in there and then I'll see if we need a third one or not. And with tomatoes, you want a nice sharp knife so you can get through their skin easily, otherwise you're gonna be kind of sliding all over the place and you have the potential to hurt yourself. Mozzarella again, so I bought the small ones. So these are, they're uh, basically called little cherries, cellini, um, but I just cut them in half and that pretty much covers it, but they, again, mozzarella comes in all different sizes as well, so you might get a bigger piece or um, you can actually get even smaller ones than this that you could really just toss in there. It's all your preference, as long as it's a good fresh mozzarella, that's the one that comes in the liquid, and if you have any leftover in your container, you wanna make sure you leave your liquid in there, that's what's gonna help keep it fresh as long as possible, but it will only last about uh, four days is really the max in the fridge uh, for fresh mozzarella. Finally, we're gonna add in our fresh basil, so again, it's your preference, it's, it's by eye, this, this smells so amazing. But the easiest way I've found to kind of chop up a lot of basil is to kind of stack the leaves all on top of one another. So once you have your amount, and then if you actually kind of roll it almost like it's a little burrito, it's pretty easy to hold and keep flat on the board. And then you can just slice across and you get those pretty little strips of basil. To finish up our salad, we're gonna season it with just a little salt and pepper. And again, the more classic way is simply salt and olive oil, but I like a little pepper in my house, and we like a little bit of balsamic vinegar. So I'm actually using uh, an oil that is uh, from my friends over at Orlando Foods. This one is uh, specifically blended to go with vegetables, so it makes a really good salad oil. So get that on there, and again, it's by eye. I could tell you it's a tablespoon, but it depends how many vegetables, how much, uh, how big of a salad you're looking to make. So. And of course, balsamic vinegar, always from Modena, Italy. And we'll get this all mixed up. Serve your salad right away on a hot day. It is the perfect light and fresh side dish. Honestly, I can make a meal out of it myself uh, or just for any barbecue. It's a really great side summer salad. That is it for this week in the Cucina. Guys, you can find this recipe at caradefalco.com. You can find me, Facebook and Instagram at caradefalco. And don't forget to check out the travel tab of the website. We are now uh, selling tickets for the Cucina Italy experience, so be sure to check that out. We'll be seeing all kinds of great stuff just like this. I'll see you guys next time. Bon appetit.